The startups that I've seen that are most successful at this, they'll sort of inspire people to come to work with them because they have something interesting that they can work on. So I started my career at Google in Google Maps, uh, working on the traffic layer in Google Maps. So if you've ever been in a traffic jam, you've uh, potentially used my product there. Uh, then I switched to Android, uh, and I built Android for the car. Um, so you can get Google Maps and all of your favorite apps into your vehicle. Um, and I now work at uh, Google Research and Machine Intelligence, uh, working on both infrastructure as well as applied machine learning. You're one of the board members of Holland in the Valley. How do you help Dutch startups uh, gain traction here in the Valley, and uh, what are their challenges? Sure, yeah. So uh, we basically try to help them with three things. First of all, uh, if they're looking for talent that they would like to hire and bring over back to the Netherlands, we can introduce them to engineers or researchers or people that are currently here local that they would like to attract uh, and bring, bring back. Um, second is uh, partnerships. So uh, there's lots of large corporations here in the Bay Area that we can help them get introductions with. Um, and then finally, obviously, investment. And so uh, there's a large venture capital ecosystem here in the Bay Area. Uh, and it's just much nicer if you're a local because you get to know a lot of people. And so, for example, if you're like a biotech startup, we would know all of the people uh, in biotech that might be interested in talking to you. We help them sort of prepare their pitch, uh, sort of get them in the vibe of Silicon Valley. Uh, we have a whole, for example, uh, handbook of how do you prep when you come here and talk to a VC. Okay. And uh, what tips do you give people who are raising funds? Like uh, most of the uh, startups here are looking for funding, or is it mainly connecting them to, to VCs? Um, it's a couple of things. So it's, it's prepping them uh, to really understand what questions they're asking. So for example, if they're raising capital, uh, like how do you go about that? Uh, for example, some of the best Dutch startups, what they would do is they would find uh, domain experts here in the Bay Area that might be able to do like a very small amount, like maybe 25 to 50,000 euros of investment. And then they work with those five and then they go to one of the big VCs. So they can say, hey, look, all these great people like from Facebook or Google or some other uh, fancy startup uh, have invested in my company and so would you like to tag along? So we sort of help them strategize, figure out what are the VCs that they would like to target, what they really need, is it just capital? You know, some of the VCs are like significantly more engaged and so, uh, you know, do they need training? Do they need like a temporary CFO? Like that kind of stuff. So we really help them before they come here, prep their pitch uh, and, and get much more clear what they're really asking for. And then obviously when they're here, uh, we introduce them to the right VCs uh, and hopefully make sure that they sort of have a, a good quality introduction and, and conversation, uh, you know, obviously with the goal of, of them getting invested in. Do you see any uh, advantages that Dutch entrepreneurs bring to the US, like a sort of mindset or technically technical knowledge perhaps? What, what are their own main, yeah. Yeah, so we actually have some really good research in the Netherlands. And so, uh, you know, for example, uh, Delft uh, has a really great quantum group. Uh, it's not very much, uh, let's say, an entrepreneurial culture yet in the Netherlands. There's still very many people that are like, oh, I found this cool thing, let's be a consulting. Um, but the quality of the work that's being done is often very good. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's an example. Uh, a lot of Dutch entrepreneurs work hard. They have like good work, working ethic. They're international, right? They sort of aspire to, to be really good. Um, yeah, so I think in general, Dutch, Dutch entrepreneurs are well sought after here. We need to just create a few more of them because there's not enough. Uh, so you must get a lot of calls. We do get a lot of calls, yeah. So uh, we actually have a startup liaison here uh, in San Francisco whose full-time job it is to sort of work with the startups and uh, figure out what their needs are. Um, and then obviously, it really depends on what you're looking for. It could be some early stage seed round that people are interested in or you know, maybe series B or C or some late stage investment. Uh, and so it's very much tailor-made. Uh, you mentioned talent as one of the key uh, challenges for startups. How do you get, how do you get uh, engineers, for example? So I mean, one of the nice things about Silicon Valley is that it's a super dense area of talent. And so for a lot of Dutch startups, it's also a place where they would like to uh, attract talent. Hmm. Um, usually, uh, because you're a startup, you can pay the big bucks that some of the large corporations can pay. But often, you can give people an interesting problem to work on. And so the startups that I've seen that are most successful at this they'll sort of inspire people to come to work with them because they have something interesting that they can work on. Uh, for example, there was a startup um, in Amsterdam who used a very, let's say, non-standard programming language called Haskell to attract talent from here because many people like sort of that kind of functional weird programming language. 
but you know, a lot of the companies don't use that here. But if you do want to work on that, and sort of you have you ha then you have that as an attractor. Might have not been the most obvious thing for them to do, uh, but it definitely helped them to attract better talent.